have like, there was like grinding, like full grinding. And for slow dances, we'd put our hands like on girls' butts, like fully. It's weird. It was way too much, having like never kissed a girl before in public, surrounded by my peers. Meeting all the extra kids and getting to like line them all up. I had met them all before, but lining them all up and asking like, okay, who does this? Who has a weird talent? And it was immediately chaotic and it was very fun because it was just like, okay, we have to just like keep this chaos intact somehow. I will say my teenage angst was scored to Lou Bega's moment number five. A little bit of Monica in my life. A little bit of Erica by my side. Does it? within it explicitly contain a lot of angst? No. Was my own angst projected onto, for example, Monica, Sandra, Rita? And as it continues, it's only getting sweeter. I might be the only person that knows other Lou Vega songs, all their lyrics, because that's the first CD I bought and listened to. That they're not in on the joke of the internet. Everyone thinks that like they're walking around going like, hashtag blessed. And like that's, no, no, that's the way you do it. Like, that's the way like McDonald's commercials do it. Kids are actually, kids are just weirder and less predictable, I think, than, than you think they are. I mean, I was in Costa Rica with a Walkman listening to deep cuts of Lou Bega. And basically everything that's not Moment Number 5 is a deep cut of Lou Bega. It's all sort of B-sides and then Moment Number 5. But yeah, hope soon, probably on my way out of this, now that, now that the memories have re-sparked.